Question 18. A wealthy group invested 75,000 shillings in shares and another 75,000 shillings in a piece of land for a period of 5 years. The shares appreciated in the value at the rate of 6% per annum for a period of 3 years. In the remaining period of 2 years, the shares appreciated in the value at the rate of 4.5% every 6 months. During the 5 years, the piece of land appreciated in the value at a constant annual rate. At the end of the 5th year, the values of the two investments are equal. Part A determine 1 the value of the shares at the end of the 5 years or at the end of the 5th year. The value of the shares So the amount that was invested was 75,000 that was the amount so you are required to get and we are given the rate of appreciation was uh, for a period of the shares appreciated in value at the rate of 6% per annum for the period of 3 years so then the next 2 years the shares appreciated the rate of 4.5%. So, let us first get the amount after 3 years. And you're going to use the formula for appreciation. This is what you're going to use. Appreciation that is the amount is given by this is the principal amount of shares invested 1 plus the rate over 100 then everything raised to power and that is the formula that you're going to use for appreciation so let us begin by the first 3 years so the first 3 years for the first 3 years uh, to get the amount the amount will be given by the initial amount that was invested which is a uh, 75000 then the rate 6% that is 6100 then the period is 3 years this will give us the amount at the end of 3 years so when you work out this using a calculator 75000 uh into bracket 1 plus 6% raised to 3 this will give Kenya shillings 89,326 and 20 cents that is after 3 years we are done with 3 years but required to give up to the 5th year so we are remaining with 2 years so in the remaining 2 years the shares appreciated at the rate of 4.5% for every 6 months so for 2 years now when you're beginning now uh the the 2 years we don't have now 75000 remember uh there there has been an appreciation and the amount is not now 75000 it is 89326 and 20 so that will be the principal now as you're beginning uh in these two years so the new principal now that is after three years the amount has changed this is what you are going to have as the principal 89326 cents then 1 plus using the formula for precision still uh the rate is 4.5 every 6 months so it is not given per annum 4.5% so 4 0.5% of 0.5100 then the appreciation rate is after every 6 months and you have 2 years so in one year means we will have two periods of appreciation because it is after every 6 months so for four years we shall uh, for for two years we shall have four periods so for n or the period to be four it is very important to note so when you work out this you'll get 
106, 1,523, and 16 cents. So that is the amount at the end of the fifth year. So you're done with that. So let's go to the second part. The annual rate of appreciation in the value of the land over the period of five years. Now for the land, we know the principal, the same amount was invested in the land, 75,000. And uh, the period is five years, so we don't know the rate. But we know the amount. We know the amount. The amount after appreciation of the land. We know it and we get it from this statement. The last statement here, that at the end of the fifth year, the values of the two investments were equal. The investment in the shares, the amount was 106,523.16. It is here. So the same amount applies to the land. So for the land, after five years, we have the same amount. So that is what you're going to use. So amount is 106,523.16. So let us get the appreciation of the land. So the amount invested is 75,000. Then one plus, the rate is what you don't know, that is what you're calculating. Then the period is five years and the amount will be equal. The amount you got for the shares, which is 106, 523.16. So from here, you just need to make out of the subject. So I'll start by dividing both sides by 75,000, divide both sides by 75,000, like that. And when you do that, you remain with 1 plus R over 100 raised to the power 5 is equals to 106, 523.16 divided by 75,000. That will give uh, 1.4, 20, 88. So from there, you want to get rid of the power 5. So get the fifth root. Uh, get the fifth root of both sides. You get the fifth root of the left hand side. You remain with 1 plus R over 100. When you get the fifth root of 1.4203088. You will get uh, correct four significant figures. You get 1.073. So make R the subject, R of 100, take 1 to the right hand side, you'll have 1.073 minus 1. This will give R of 100 is equals to 0 0.073. From here, you want to get R, multiply both sides by 100, multiply both sides by 100, and this will give R as 7.3% as the rate of appreciation for the land. Part B, after the fifth year period, the shares are depreciated in value at the rate of 3.5% per annum for N years. The shares lost 10% of their value during this period. Determine the value of N correct to two decimal places. So now this one is about depreciation. And for depreciation, we use this formula. So amount is given by uh, the principal amount invested, then 1 minus R over 100 raised to the n. So this is the formula for depreciation. That is the formula we're going to use for depreciation. So this depreciation rate is given as 3.5%. Then, of course, we know the principal amount, uh, the principal amount after five years, uh, so pre after five years, uh, it will be 100, we obtained that one as well, the value was the same, 106, 106, 523.16. So it is depreciating now from this amount. So therefore, uh, we require to get N. So therefore, principal, uh, to get depreciation, we take the principal, which is 106,523 uh, and 0.16. Then 1 minus, the rate is 3.5 over 100 
then raised power and we don't know the period is equivalent to now from this statement the shares lost 10% of their value during this period 10% so let's get 10% of so 10% of what so it is 10% of the total value so if it lost 10% then what remained was 90% so what remained was 90% if you are going to get 90% that will now be uh, the amount after depreciating the amount after depreciating will be 90% because it lost 10%. So 90% times 106, 523, and 16 cents. So this one will give, uh, when you work out that, we give 95, 87, to 95, Point eight four. So that is what you get ninety five thousand eight hundred and seventy point eight four. Now this is the amount we are going to equit here after losing ten percent after depreciation. So ninety five eight seventy point eight four. Now with this equation, we can now find n. Can now find n using this. Let's find n. So we start by dividing both sides by so we'll have one minus three point five percent is equals to when you divide both sides by one hundred and six five twenty three point one six we shall have um, so this is ninety five eight seventy point eight four divide by one oh six like that so 1 minus 3.5 over 100 that will give uh, 0 0.965 raised to power n is equals to when you divide that you get uh, this will give 0 0.9 95, 870.84 divided by that, you get 0 0.9. So how do we get n? Now to get n here, you'll have to introduce logarithms. Introduce logarithms, and this is how we're going to do it. So logarithm of 0 0.965 raised to power n is equals to logarithm of 0 0.9. And logarithm of 0 0.9 six five raised power n is the same as n log zero point nine six five is equals to log of zero point nine so you want to remain with n divide both sides by log zero point nine six five logarithm of zero point nine six five this will give n b logarithm of 0 0.9 divided by logarithm of 0 0.965 so when you divide that you will get got to give the answer correct two decimal places this will be 2.96 yes correct two decimal places